Once upon a time is how it usually goes. Where that came from, nobody knows. Misfortune is where this tale is from. Going to bed early, unlucky for some. Three tiny shacks deep in the woods, not far apart, but equally good. Three nice girls live very quaint, all very different, but each one a saint. Heather Hay sat in the first, a girly girl who was surely cursed. For a dog of a man stood outside the door, evil inside, down to the core. She sat down for tea in her only chair, when a bang on the door raised up her hair. It was too late for a guest she knew well, and let me tell you, outside waited hell. Why don't you open up in there? It's cold out here, and I think there's a bear. Heather was trusting, always ready to help. A little naive, she hopped up with a yell. The door swung wide, and there stood a man with a tall black hat and a knife in hand. In he swooped, cat, cane, and blade, grabbing her throat, spilling the tea she'd made. He slashed and gashed, but she managed to slap, caused him to fumble, so she slipped out the back. She ran down the path to shack number two, inside Sally Sticks, mending her shoe. You'd think he'd be angry, the girl got away, but he grinned as she fled, it was just a delay. A setback perhaps, but this could still be fun. Two tasty girls must be better than one. In burst Heather, panting with fear, trying to be silent, she knew he was near. He followed her there, sniffing his way, taking his time, for he knew where she lay. Sally was shocked as much as could be. Heather had spoke, told the tale of he. They bolted the door and hugged the walls, quivering all over, awaiting his call. He hammered the door, more violent than last. He wasn't happy with the story's past. The two girls jumped and shouted with hate. The man just smiled, he pondered their fate. What's the matter in there? Open up, girls, too. It's cold out here and I'm going to kill you. The door crashed open and in came his foot, wielding his knife to their bellies he put. Just as he thrust Sally, picked up the candle, burning his hand, the one holding the handle. Out the front door and onto the path, down to shack three, you do the math. His cold, feral grin would have stopped your heart dead, as he watched while the young women ran off in dread and thought to himself that it had to be true. Three yummy girls must be better than two. Nikki Brick was asleep, the kind we call fast. She had gone to bed early this time for the last. In flew the girls with quite the hurry, as fast as they could, both with a scurry. But Nikki lay still, floating in dream. They yelled and poked, then both screamed. While trying to wake Nikki, they'd forgotten the door, pushed just two, not an inch more. In crept the man, licking his lips, I'm going to eat you, the one you call Brick. The two screeched loudly, but it was no use. Their friend was asleep as if hung by a noose. The man sliced and diced, wanding his knife, having a feast, enjoying the strife. They sat in shock as he devoured their friend, all the while thinking this was the end. He gobbled and swallowed every last bit, eating so quickly as if having a fit. He finished, nothing left, I'll have you believe. Then he wiped his mouth right on his sleeve. The two girls silenced statues with shock. I could have sworn they were made out of rock. The man just grinned, then burst out the door. Not another sound did they hear anymore. They made a promise right there and then. Never go to bed early ever again. You might wonder how I know this tale. Are you sure you'd like me to lift the veil? Excuse me while I put on my hat. You see, it was me. I did that.